In Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, you might wish to control people's ability to change specific pieces of data within a table, within a, a record. So for example, what we might find is here on the customers list, I go to a specific customer, a datum, we see they actually are above their credit limit at the moment and I want to put an order on for these guys. And the company policy is I shouldn't do this if they're above credit limit. So because I have permissions to modify customer records, I can change this. However, if you put a workflow for an approval in place, then you can have this kind of key piece of information protected so it has to go for approval to another person, for example, my line manager, to authorize that change. Otherwise, the system will revert the change until somebody's approved it. So if I then move on and I attempt to go off and generate new documents, create a sales order, that limit has been sent off because I've now left this record. The system has forced that to go out and been sent to my nominated approver. So we see the credit limit is actually unchanged at the moment and I'm getting a warning because they're above credit limit. So at that point, the approver would need to authorize this change. So I'm now logged in as the approver, and if I scroll down in my role center, what I see is I have a, a part on the page, on the role center, that features approvals. And I see I have one in this queue here, I see I have one request to approve. Now clicking that will take me to the list of all the available approvals. And I see here, I've got the one that we just triggered, customer card, and it tells what the change was. So the customer 10,000, the credit limit changed from 28,000, up to 35,000. And the fact box on the right hand side gives me an overview of that change as well. Old value and new value. So at this point I have various options. If any comments were added I could read them. I can open up the actual record, go and go to have a look at their card page, perhaps look at the quality of the account, the track record. I can delegate to another user if one's been set up in the system. I can reject or approve. At the moment, all that will display on the actual card is the old value. The change hasn't been put in place yet. So I'll just test that. There we go. We've got the old value still in place. So if I go process and approve, and that means the system then makes that change for me and writes the update to the customer card. If I just go and check, on customers, on the correct customer, we see their new credit limit. The setup for this and much more is explained in our system administration course and more information on this is available from our website or from your account manager.